what's the goal that you have here in the next year? People always ask, hey, when are you going to retire? And I said, well, I don't know. You come to my funeral and I guess I'll be retired. <laughs> so our jobs are great because you can work as little or as much as you want. You can enjoy as much or as little of as, as you want. And uh, I just want our jobs are so flexible. And you know as well as I do, if you have your phone, that's your lifeline. Yeah. People don't care where you're at, what you're doing, as long as they can get a hold of you and be assured that their problems are going to be taken care of. And and that's the key. And you fill in the gaps now with your team members and they play a role. They get brought up to speed. They're an asset. And then they they have their careers. I always tell people when you join my team. If you're on my team two years from now, I did something wrong. My goal is to have you stand on your own two feet, you know, be as successful as I am. And and it's funny because you see some teams that are 30, 40 people. And I go, well, I don't know if that's really a team. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a structure. Do those people really thrive or do they just help the team leader? Yeah. So I, I just have a different philosophy. I, I can always reload. And that's what I do. But I like people to take that next step. That's awesome. What's, what's a five-year goal for you? Mm, I, I, I think I want to do more, a little bit more on the commercial side. Because my investors are leaning towards you know, not just multifamily, but multi-building. You know, 60, 70 unit buildings. So you're fortunate enough, you stick around long enough, you get that clientele. And those deals take longer to put together, but they're more rewarding, I think, in the end. And I don't need to do the daily grind of real estate day in and day out. You know, I can concentrate on more, you know, a big deal here, a big deal there. And then have the people on my team kind of fill in, go and showing houses, you know, me offering my expert expertise on the contracts, negotiations, those type of things where I don't have to grind to make the dollar every day. I, I provide an asset and and they bring in the money. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's all our goals, right? Have it somebody is. else make you money. Exactly. Right. You know, leverage within the business. And I think honestly that's one of the hardest things that uh, agents can can um do at a high level right i think some people get it to the extent of i need a transaction coordinator right but you know at the end of the day if you if you truly want to build a business i always tell people the ceo of a major company is not also checking you out at the cash register that's right, right? i so, think that was my point that i got around to, to sharing is you know i don't want to do everybody's job for them yeah. You, know, you have to realize what level you're at and what you offer and how, how deep you get in. But you have to be open to the idea of, like you said, other people taking over some of those areas of your business as well. And I think that's a, a rub with a lot of agents. It's, well, if I do it, I know it's done and it's done my way and it's done the right way. And I always argue, well, if you have a team member that's working on your behalf, and they're not doing it your way well then that's a you problem not a them problem because you're the ones that are actually training them so, so the, the phrase get over yourself is yeah is one that i use a lot yeah you know, i and i always say hey when you're dead and gone the world still spins yeah so so you know get over yourself and you know deal with things and somebody else might have a better way of doing it than you've been doing mm -hmm. for 10 years and like you said I think the successful people in our business are the people who are open-minded. Yeah. And you, you have to be that way. Yeah. yeah. Right. What's a legacy goal for you? You know, I, I think people, I don't really think about a legacy goal. I think your legacy is defined by what you do and accomplish and how people think of you. I mean, to me, that's, you know, if no one has a bad word to say about me, they probably don't know me very well. But, <laughs> but I mean, at the end of the day, you could say that he was, he was somebody in the business who we enjoyed doing business with. 
you know, his clients loved him. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, he did it the right way. And I think that's the legacy you kind of want to leave.